Welcome to the best of first person episodes from Phantoms and Monsters. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of all future uploads. Downtown Chicago flying humanoid sighting confirmed. I was out with my daughter and mother celebrating my daughter's recent graduation, and after dinner and some light shopping, we decided to go out and check out the newly opened Chicago Riverwalk that had just opened after construction. We accessed the Riverwalk via the entrance on Michigan Avenue, and walked east toward the lake, looking at the sights and enjoying the beautiful view. As we passed under the Columbus Drive Bridge, we heard the strange sound and my daughter said look at that. As we looked up, we saw a large winged person flying just above the water, and then pulling up and going over the bridge. It looked like a huge owl, or even a bat, but completely black with the exception of the two large eyes that appeared red. I'm not sure if it was the actual color of its eyes, or just the light reflecting off of them, either way it looked very spooky. We watched it go over the bridge, and then continue flying right above the water, and out of sight. It didn't seem to care if anyone else saw it, it just left flying above the water until it was out of sight. My daughter and me tried to get pictures of it, but by the time we took pictures, all we got were blurry images of mostly black. We have never seen anything like this before, it never flapped its wings, while we were inside. At first glance, it looked like a person in a wingsuit, but I don't think anyone would be suicidal enough to go for a stunt like that along the waterfront. I have gone skydiving before, and have seen demonstrations of wingsuits in the past. This lead me to rule out that this would be a person in one of those suits, or anything similar as it would be a surefire recipe for disaster. This thing also had wings, that did bit seem like the wings on a bat as they seemed to form one big wing from the back to the bottom of the legs, and seemed more of a membrane than feathered wings like an owl. There was no sound at all, just an audible whoosh as it flew over. It was up and over the bridge in a matter of seconds, and then it was gone. We were a bit shaken up after this thing flew away, she didn't know what it was that we had seen. Second airline pilot reports and describes O'Hare Mothman encounter. My name is Bruce, and I am a pilot for Redacted, and have been with Redacted since 2008. I previously flew for Redacted, and before that served for six years in the United States Air Force. I have over 9,000 hours of flight time and have flown a variety of aircraft in my career in virtually all types of weather. The incident I am about to tell you happened on Thursday, August 8, 2019 at O'Hare International Airport at approximately 1800. I had flown into O'Hare the previous day and had stayed at a hotel for the night. I was due to fly out at 2000 to the UK. I was taking the airport shuttle toward the terminal. As I looked out the window, I saw a large human with enormous wings and glowing red eyes perched upon a rail and looking straight at me. The being appeared to be squatting down on the rail but had its wings completely open and moved them slowly as he stared at the shuttle bus as we drove by. I knew it was watching me as its head swiveled and followed the shuttle as we passed. Its eyes locked on me the entire time. I was startled and I'll admit it, very frightened. Not only by this encounter, but the absolute boldness of this thing as it did not move or attempt to hide itself as we approached, knowing that it could be clearly seen. We passed it on the outside lane and were at our closest approximately 15 feet away from where it was perched. It never once flinched or attempted to hide itself. It just stayed put and watched as we passed. When we passed, I attempted to look back and see if it was still perched there. I saw nothing and can only assume that it must have flown off when we passed. I have heard the stories of the O'Hare Mothman or as some have called it Batman, but I simply dismissed them as nothing more than fantasy an urban legend that was associated with an already spooky airport. I mean, who hasn't heard of the weird UFO sightings over O'Hare and stories of ghosts and whatnot? What happened to me that evening changed my entire view of those stories. So when I saw the post asking for pilots to step up forward and share their stories, I took advantage of the opportunity to tell my encounter with the O'Hare Mothman. A wing being observed on Chicago suburb house roof. My name is OS and I believe I have seen the Mothman. My encounter took place back in March. It was in Tinley Park at the corner of 174th Place and 66th Avenue. I was walking my dog at around midnight and he suddenly stopped at the corner. As I looked down at him I saw him staring off. As I looked up I saw and heard something swash overhead. I didn't know what it was. 
I have heard of big birds coming down and taking small dogs. We have a Pomeranian, so naturally I looked around more for what it may have been, and began walking toward a tree in front of a house. As I got to the tree I noticed my dog looking across the street. So I tried to see where he was looking. And my eyes went up to the rooftop across the street, and there is when I noticed something big on the top of the roofline. It was as if it was crouching. I didn't know what the heck it was, so I slowly moved toward it while fumbling to get my phone. As I turned the LED light on on my phone, and aimed it at the roof, not a very bright light, I kept walking towards it. As I got about halfway in the street with my dog behind me, it seemed to have shot up, and then it took a sharp downward turn down behind that house. It was something big. As I have told people, as that thing was crouched on the rooftop, it was almost next to the chimney, and it made the chimney look small. I'm not sure if you'll believe me or not, but I'd like only my initials used if you plan on using this story. My wife is the one who told me about these encounters. Her and my mother-in-law were the first ones I told as soon as I returned from walking our dog. Thanks again. OS. Large wing being perched on Michigan roof. I've been scanning the internet trying to find anything that resembles what I saw about one week ago today here in Lansing, Michigan. Your articles on the Chicago bat creature Owlman Mothman seem to be the closest I could find. Especially the article titled, Big Wing Being Observed on Chicago Suburb Home Roof. It was about 5.45 a.m., and I was preparing to leave for work. As usual, I glanced out of my small bathroom window to see if it was raining. It was very calm and dry that morning, but then I noticed an unusual shape on my neighbor's rooftop. Obviously, the sun was not up yet, but it was just bright enough that I could see the outline. I do own a cell phone, but it's one of those cheap consumer cellular ones, and those are worthless in low light. I stared at the figure for about 30 seconds, and it never moved. There was tree foliage behind the creature. I'm thinking it may have been sitting, or perched, just on the other side of the roof, as I never saw a head or glowing eyes. It's hard to guess on the size of the being as I only saw the wings. I was about 20 feet away from it. I wished I had stared at it longer, or even shined a flashlight on it, but I didn't want to be late for work. CS. Bad Wing Humanoid Encountered in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. I recently listened to a podcast on the Higher Side Chats and got this website from that. I have never known where to report this incident, so I have just kept it to myself. However, I would like to add my encounter experience to the inventory of this mystery. Everything that has been described in Chicago account of a bat-like creature is pretty identical to what I saw with a few exceptions. My sighting took place in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, in January 2011. It was between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. when I saw it. I was outside smoking a cigarette, and I saw a human-sized being with bat-like wings fly overhead. It flew or glided a little higher than the street lights. The wings were somewhat transparent, exactly how a bat looks, except that it did not flap its wings. It glided past. My reaction was not negative, nor positive, just speculative. I was in a moment of, what was that? I would also like to note that I did not see any red eyes. I would also like to add another sighting, not mine however, this is a sighting from my boyfriend's friend. It was in Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin area. Around January 2014. 3 AM. He said it was big and it was standing by the river, Rock River. He refused to look at it because it freaked him out so bad. In conclusion, I think there is some connection with water. Chippewa Falls is known for its water source. And Rock River is a major river, and now Lake Michigan. Please feel free to contact me if you have any further questions regarding the sighting. Sincerely, SB. This is Lon Strickler. If you like this program, it would help us if you would give it a thumbs up. Then subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notification when we upload new first-person encounters. We have many more to come very soon. And by the way, if you have a suggestion or an experience of your own, please leave a comment.